YouTube. This is Linux Nutcase. Um, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to make the desktop cube sphere or cylinder work for you. First, make sure your system will support the cylinder. Open the terminal box. Copy this line, and it will be in the description. And this will tell you if your system will support. Um, the effects caused by the desktop cube. Right there. You guys saw, yes, you're good. So if you don't have comp compiz config already installed, install it by typing in the wrong button. So type in this command in sudo apt-get install compiz settings manager and compiz plugins extra. This will be in the description below. Just plug it in here. Sorry about that. Wrong command, and it will work. I won't do it because I already have installed. Hit yes or type yes and wherever and hit it enter. Sometimes when you install it, once it's installed, you go into Compiz. Compiz is a Windows manager. The Windows are these things here that junk there. So if in Ubuntu, the default is Compiz already. If you have um, Linux Mint, it does it use Mint C or some some other one not compass. So if you install compass, you have to change the Windows Manager, it's like a bar up here, to this, or install the Compass Fusion thing, which is something just go into your software manager and hit Compass Fusion and you will find this confusion icon to change the Windows Windows Manager. And you will encounter problems here, but you will not have your um things up at the top, the toolbars working. You have Kairosaka work and some other things. If you have Geom installed, you're using Geom shell and you're fine with it. But if you're using the cinnamon it doesn't work properly. So, with that being said, desktop, make sure the desktop cube is clicked and rotate cube and make sure you have Windows decoration clicked. You can also do Windows preview. Windows will make it look like that. You see how that kind of pops out there? That's preview Windows. And desktop cube. I might just scroll down to unfold to whatever behavior. You can make it an inside cube. It looks like this. Then it's pretty cool. Inside cube is like this. It's interesting. And then you can have the appearance top on and make a sky dome. I got a sky dome, this thing here. If you have this, it's just a picture. And you okay, you can go to the thing. See, it has the outside thing there. It kind of looks dumb because it doesn't really work properly. So you may not want the sky dome clicked on. Okay. And once you make sure all that's working, you also um, make sure you have this. Um, Plot one thing. You can change that to get different things going, but let's just try it out. Um, rotate cube. I just got the top three, but you can do other ones. Just find out what you want. There's additional settings, but I don't really care about those. Um, these are the bindings, the key bindings. Mine says control bind one. Bind one. I had a hard time when I first did this because you can like edit the one. Just hit OK. And you can do different edit. Mine just says the other one. Control Alt button one, okay. So you can't make it a place or anything. I just have a control button one. It seems to work fine. You can make it like this control screw control button one. It goes like that when you have it up there. But that's not really great. You could just do it like this and set it up like this or like this. Okay. It goes like that. If you want to get to it quicker, which you may want to. But it's just all a preference of what you want. Okay, so that's how to get the cube working. Right now, though, I have the cube deprecation. If I disable this, I have my cube. See that all that that there's when you have three two ones. When this does that, you have a lot of windows open. And there's the cube. It kind of it's okay. But what you really want is you want to have this the con the cool stuff on the. Um, the cylinder and sphere. Here's the sphere, pretty tight, kind of circular. It should have. This shouldn't look like a cube in the center. It kind of is trying to, but it's not really. But you may when you when you boot up again, it will fix that. See, it's a cylinder. It's pretty tight. You can mess with it. Just make sure those are clicked. Um, and the images here will be the images for the top and the bottom. I just have desktop wallpapers. They seem to be 
mind. There's other things, but that's the main thing. So, compass is really cool if you don't know about it. Pretty much still can do paint fire on screen, which is a little cool, not cool thing. Paint fire on the screen. And you can look at different things. It's a good thing. If you're using Ubuntu, if, I'm, if you're using Mint, you may not want to use it. But it's pretty cool. Okay. Hopefully this thing turned out okay, and you will like my, my video and subscribe to my channel. Happy day, guys.